need I say? All right, question. Are arranged marriages worthwhile than we give them credit for? Okay, we're going to wrap up with this question. I love this question. Are arranged marriages more worthwhile than we give credit to? So, during my trip to Chicago, when I got picked up at the airport, I was picked up by a young Pakistani man. When I say young, he was 37 years old. And I was, my cab ride was an hour and 20 minutes. So we had an intense conversation. And it turned out I asked him about his life and he's married to children, uh, grew up in Pakistan. He had family members here. So that brought him over. And he said he was, he's, his marriage was arranged. And I said, how do you feel about that? He says, I love it. I love it. I go, why? And he said something very profound. He said, you don't marry the woman or two people aren't marrying each other. It's two families merging together. So you've got his mother and father, her mother and father, her siblings, his siblings, and they're merging this and whether those siblings have, you know, married to one another type of thing. And you're merging families together. And he says, you have the strength of the family to hold and support the relationship. And he says he loves it. And it made me think about America where we literally kick children out, out the door at age 18. There's an individuation. There's really a lack, by the way, and then here in America, Two families could, I mean, I, I've seen this happen over and over again where two people get married, but the parents don't like each other and they create tension or they don't like the woman, they don't like the 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 fiance or they don't like the perspective the the groom. I mean, they and they undermine the relationship. The families, and by the way, families can undermine the relationship. And also, if you're divorced, children continually undermine relationships. So Imagine in the Brady Bunch where, you know, Carol Brady, if Mike, you know, Carol Brady's kids couldn't stand Mike Brady and vice versa, it would have undermined the relationship. So with arranged marriages, there's a lot, there's a bigger picture involved. It requires really thinking about, can these two families merge together? Because here in the United States, we no longer operate from, we no longer operate from tribes, villages, and communities. We don't operate from that, you know, that strength of the tribe. And there's no tribe accountability. That's why when I said, I'm your big brother, if I could be there on a first date and I had the shotgun pointed at the guy's fed, because there's a sense of accountability when you have a tribe. And these days when you're meeting total strangers, ladies, there's no one to protect you from a stranger. There's nobody to protect you. I don't necessarily mean physically, but certainly physically is important, but I mean emotionally. By the way, I had a client recently. I said, look, let me get on the phone with this motherfucker and tell him what a fucking jackass he is. Okay. I would do that for a client. I'll get up. Matter of fact, if you're dating someone and you want me to get on the phone with them to vet him, I mean, it's going to charge, I charge a shitload of money to do this, but you know what? I'm your protector. My job is to ferret out, does he value you or does he devalue you? And because the tribe in the arranged marriages were all about valuing each other, they had a greater chance for success. So to answer your question, which I love wrapping up on that one, arranged marriages actually do have greater sense of success. Not always, but a greater chance of success. All right. Uh, Jennifer says, I like, wait a minute. I like the idea of arranged marriage. Seriously. Well, there you go. All right. Does my content sink in with you? Is it resonating with you? Please let me know. Please give me a thumbs up, hit that like button, share this with your friends, subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, tell your friends about my channel, check out the link to a free discovery call with me. If you can't afford coaching, check out my private group called midlife love mastery. This is a group where you can have direct access to me on a regular basis. Uh, for just a nominal fee. And I shoot personalized videos just for you. That's my group. Um, check out my podcast, check out my Instagram, check out my free gift. Uh, we're doing, join my mailing list today. Check out the list because I'm doing a free call where you can call in to ask questions next week. So do all that. Check out the links below. All right. 
I think this will be a great place. Did I did I bring value to you? Please let me know. Say, Jonathan, this was valuable. Please let me know. All right, we're going to wrap up today as I always do. First off, giving myself a big, gigantic Jonathan Barrick of self-love. I'm going to reach into the camera and give you a hug of love if that's okay. I'm going to ask you to turn to someone, a pet, a teddy bear, a pillow, and give it or them a hug of love because hugs are a great source of love. And let's face it, we could all use more love in our lives. I want to thank...